Qantas has had a challenging month in the air, but the ramifications for its engine blowout on one of its new A380s go well be beyond the airline itself. To the big multinationals, engine maker Rolls-Royce and A380 producer Airbus. One of the world's experts on market intelligence in this area is Richard Abulafia from the American aerospace consultants, the Teal Group Corporation. And I spoke to him in Washington. Richard Abulafia, welcome to Lakeline Business. Nice to be here. Well, there's been a lot of speculation about these Rolls-Royce Trent 900 engines. Uh, remind us, what did go wrong with QF32 on the 4th of November? Well, we've worried a lot because uh, a lot of the debris was scattered over land and has been recovered. It sounds as though there was a component failure that led to an oil fire that uh, in turn led to a uh, intermediate uh, turbine failure that was, of course, uncontained. You know, certainly they're not expected to be uncontained. That's uh, the whole point of having them in, uh, in a housing. And, of course, they're expected to be able to be, well, uh, shut down, which did not happen. For some reason, number one engine uh, could not be turned off. So those are, the, those are the big uncertainties. It's quite worrying, but it's also important to focus on the fact that at the end of the day, the airplane landed, no casualties. Uh, the pilots did an excellent job. Now, Airbus, who make the A380s, uh, is reportedly saying that it's prepared to supply replacement Trent 900 Rolls-Royce engines from its production lines in France to airlines like Qantas that require replacements. Isn't that going to impact on their sales? It certainly will. It's important to remember, though, that the majority of A380s built are actually built with General Electric Pratt consortium engines. Rolls-Royce is simply an alternative choice, maybe about 40% of uh, orders so far have been placed with the Rolls-Royce engine. But at one stage, Qantas was saying that Rolls-Royce may have to look at replacing up to 40 engines